Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to this month's Dossier Fragrance Review. I am really excited about the scents I'm going to share today. Because, I mean, I'm excited every month to try out new Dossier scents. But this month, I finally got my hands on a scent that I honestly should have probably tried a long time ago. Just for the sake of even reviewing it for you guys. And I just haven't because I have the OG and... The OG fragrance is almost $400, and Dossier has recreated it for $49. So I'm really excited to get into that, but I also have some other fragrances that I've fallen in love with in this video. So just really great scents all across the board. Thank you to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. If you've been subscribed to my channel, this video is nothing new for you. But if you are new and you're just stumbling across this video, Dossier is a recreation fragrance house. They recreate some of your favorite designers slash niche fragrances at a fraction of the cost. They pretty much just cut out the brand name. A lot of the times when you're buying designer and niche fragrances, you do pay more so for the brand and not so much the quality. So with Dossier, you can find some of your favorite scents without the high price point associated with them. They have hundreds of perfumes to choose from on their website. You can scroll on over there. You'll see on there so many popular brands of designers and niche fragrances that they've recreated. If you see anything on there that you do want to check out, but you may be afraid to blind buy, not only have I made tons of Dossier videos on my channel, reviewing so many of their scents. So I'm going to link all of my previous Dossier videos in the description box. So you can check them out there. But if you do come across a scent that I haven't talked about, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to pick it up in my next video to review it for you. But if you do want to just buy it, but you're still kind of like unsure, you're like, should I blind buy this? I mean, it's inexpensive, but it's still money. They also have a risk-free program. Through their risk-free program, you can order up to five cents at a time. Try out each of those fragrances before you make a full commitment to them. And you can return any bottles that you choose to not keep back to them within 30 days. No questions asked. And shipping is also free if you order three or more items. They're constantly running sales and bulk deals, so you can always get a really great price. And I also have a code for you guys, which is Xenia10 for 10% off. I have been getting some comments comments in my previous video saying that some of you tried the code and that it was popping up as invalid for you and I did contact the brand and they told me that it should be working now so I'm sorry for that issue I did get a result with the company and it should be all set now but let me know in the comments if you have any more concerns if it's still not working I could get back into contact with the brand I want to make sure that you guys can get as much of a discount off on these scents as you can that is not a commission code so I don't get anything off of it it's simply just a code that I asked them to give me so that you guys can get some money off and just quickly before i get into the perfumes that i'm trying out this month i do want to let you guys know that they also have added room diffusers and candles onto their website i've tried a few of their room diffusers and their candles in previous dossier review videos so you can check those out in my description box to see what i think of them but their candles and diffusers are also recreating high-end fragrances probably one of my favorite of the room diffusers was the love don't be shy room diffuser that was so good and it stayed in my room for an entire month and every time anybody would go into my room they would compliment how good it smelled and I did also try the Dior Sauvage candle that they had and that was also so good because I love Dior Sauvage it is a cologne but having it as a candle my room just smelled like a sexy man and with all that being said before we get into it please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel if you haven't already and turn your post notifications on and let's get into it all right here are the three fragrances that I'm trying out this month by the way Dossier is also now in Walmart stores so you could also find them in store if you're somebody that doesn't like ordering online. I think I'm going to start with this red one. So the difference between this red one and these like regular colored beigey ones. This is the color that the typical fragrances from Dossier will come in. Usually they're like recreation fragrances. But then these ones that are in these red boxes, these are their original creations. And their originals are called the Speak Easy Collection. There's a few fragrances in this line. And I have tried another one which was also really good in a separate video but I'll have to say this one is my favorite I'm obsessed with this one and I do like that it's an original and it doesn't smell like any other perfume this one is called fresh margarita and lime I had to get it just because of that name <sighs> this this is so good it's literally a fresh margarita and lime oh my god it's so good it reminds me of this is gonna sound really weird but growing up in Albania that's exactly what this perfume reminds me of. Because 
on top of it being margarita -y, citrusy, limey, obviously, it has this green vibe to it. It reminds me of greenery or when my grandma would plant flowers in her garden. The nostalgia that this scent is giving me is so good. Wow, this scent is actually like top tier. This is like a 15 out of 10. This may just become a staple in my personal collection. There's something that reminds me so much of Dolce by Dolce Gabbana in this scent and you guys know how I feel about that scent. And this one has almost like that same green aquatic vibe that that scent has. I highly recommend this one. That's all I can say. This has top notes of lemon, lime, black currant, grapefruit, and aldehydes, middle notes of water fruits, spearmint, Elemi, uh, base notes of marine notes, violet leaf, and white musks. It has a lot of just really great notes. It's fruity, it's aquatic, it's green, it's citrusy without being like tart. I feel like it still has this sweetness to it, but in a very fresh and clean musk kind of way. I'm obsessed with this scent. I really, really love this. I did not expect to love this so much, but I really do. When I got this package in the mail, I quickly sprayed this out. And when I tell you this scent specifically lasted all day because I literally just sprayed a couple sprays on my wrist of this and then I went about my day because I had to run errands and I was like wow I smell so good I don't think I put a perfume on today and then I'm like yes I did <laughs> but I just forgot because I was just testing this out really quickly and it stayed on me the entire day so I, I love this. I cannot recommend that enough. Honestly, check out this Speak Easy collection because they're all just original scents. It says down here in the card that this collection is inspired by the scents of mouth-watering cocktails and has been crafted to encapsulate and emulate the various sparkling, warm, bitter, or even smoky sensations that come with every sip or in this case, spritz. And by the way, you will get these little cards in each one of your dossier packages that will tell you the name of the fragrance, the notes, a little bit about the fragrance, just all the info that you need to know, which is really helpful. And next up, this is the perfume that I was talking about in the intro of this video where I don't know how I hadn't owned this perfume. I mean, I kind of do is because I have the original, so I'm like, I don't need this. But I wanted to try it because ever since I started working with Dossier and making all these videos, and even before I started working with Dossier, I would get so many requests telling me that I needed to try the Baccarat Rouge recreation that Dossier has done. And I finally picked it up. It's called Ambery Saffron. And I was scared going into it because let's be real, guys. This is a sponsored video, but just because I make any sponsor video, no matter what brand I work with, I will always tell you my true opinion and none of the companies that I work with tell me anything specific to say or to like talk super highly about their brand. I make sure to not work with brands that do that because I don't like not being able to say what I want to say. With this scent, I was like, do I want to get that? Because I'm like, what if it's not the same? I'm going to have to like drag dossier. <laughs> but guys, okay. I've said so many times on my channel that no recreation perfume for Baccarat Rouge and there's many. So many companies have duped it and I don't think any one of the dupes for Baccarat Rouge has been 100% similar to Baccarat Rouge. I've never thought that. They may come really, really close. It'll get you smelling the same, which is great, but I've always been really picky. I'm like, I have yet to find 100% recreation of Baccarat Rouge. And I think I found it. I was fully expecting and honestly kind of being like already in my mind like, okay, it's going to smell similar, but it's probably not going to smell the same. But at the back of my head, I'm like, every perfume I have tried from Dossier though has been spot on to the original. So I'm like, maybe it will smell the same. And... I, I don't smell a difference at all. Ugh. This is Baccarat Rouge. The only thing I will say is, I will say just it's a touch lighter. Baccarat Rouge is like strong, strong, strong. It's a lot. This is just like maybe a step down from Baccarat Rouge strength wise. Smell wise, 100%. I don't detect any difference, honestly. Like I'm trying to, but I can't. <laughs> Yeah, like I get the exact same scent. Even the notes are almost the same. It has top notes of saffron, orange blossom, metal notes of jasmine, plum, and cedarwood, base notes of oak moss, fir blossom, and amber. I wore this yesterday all day because another thing I wanted to know with this scent was not only how close it was going to be to Baccarat, but was it going to hold up to the longevity of Baccarat? And it does. 
It lasted me an entire day. I wore it the entire day yesterday and I even kept it in my bag because I'm like, maybe I'm going to need to refresh. I don't know, but I didn't have to and I was smelling it all day. So I'm really impressed. I'm really, really, really impressed with this. I can't believe it took me this long to try it. I was almost kind of afraid to try because I'm like, oh no, like what if it's not the same? I'm going to have to be like, oh, it sucks or whatever. But no, they really shocked me with this one. You can literally pay $49 to get pretty much the same scent as a $400 perfume. And then the last one, I had to get this one because it's another one of my favorite perfumes, much like Baccarat Rouge, that I have in my collection. But lately, I'm like, do I need a, a backup of this scent? Like, I've been really thinking about that because I'm like, there's certain perfumes in my collection where I'm like, if these ever get discontinued or whatever, I'm going to need them. And so I've been kind of thinking about getting a backup, but then I'm like... I'm working with Dossier and they have a recreation of this perfume. I'm like, why don't I just get that? And it's like the same thing. This is Ambery Cedarwood. And this is inspired by Alien by Thierry Mugler. This has top notes of mandarin, cardamom, orange blossom, middle notes of jasmine sandback, cedarwood, and base notes of heliotrope flower, amber, and vanilla. Yeah, <laughs> it's the same. I always forget how good Alien is until I stop wearing it for a while and then I'll revisit it randomly or I'll just open up my collection uh, little cabinet that I have and I just go and smell it and I'm like, why don't I wear this scent more? It honestly kind of is reminding me a lot too of the brand new J'adore Lore fragrance, which that one also kind of reminded me of Alien. This smells like the mashup of Alien and J'adore Lore. But alien more than anything, it's that alien jasmine. The jasmine that alien is famous for. They've recreated it here to perfection. It's so good. I love it. Another 10 out of 10. I mean, what can I say? I just, they make really great fragrances. They do such a good job at recreating these scents. It's actually crazy. I have yet to come across a dossier scent of a perfume that they've recreated that hasn't been spot on. And I did want to actually kind of update you on a scent because I tried out the inspired version for the Ex Nihilo Fleur Narcotique perfume in a previous dossier video and I fell in love with that scent but I couldn't tell you if it smelled similar because I had never smelled Fleur Narcotique and I cannot update you on that because I went into a Saks Fifth Avenue store I was in Miami a few days back and I smelled that because I was so curious I'm like I fell in love with the dossier version of this I need to smell the OG to see if I can compare and once I smelled it I'm like wow this is exactly the same part of me was like do i maybe need that considering how much i love the dossier version and once i smelled it i'm like no i don't need it because it's almost 400 dollars and i have it at home okay so that is it for this dossier fragrance review i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you have any scents on there that you see that i haven't made videos on that you would like me to review leave them in the comments but that is it for me today thank you to dossier for sponsoring today's video make sure that you utilize my code xenia10 for 10 percent off at checkout if you find anything that you like and tell me if that code works or not so i can just make sure with the brand that everything is good but that is it for me today please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn your post notifications on and i will see you in my next video bye